Uh, what's going on guys? It's a pretty impromptu video and uh, as you can tell by the title, we're picking up a car. So, Carl has gone and uh, got himself an E36. A car. A car. An E36, eh? Yes. It's a four-door? Yes. It's a four-door. Four-door E36. So, if you guys remember a couple of videos ago when we were on the piss at Sam's, um, what you... Sam came across some parts to put an RB into, an, uh, into a BMW yep. and Whole you brought them. Kit. Whole conversion kit, brought it on the piss and uh, it's cut stumble across this, which is what? It's free. It's free. A free BMW. So, the exact one I need. Yeah, the exact one I need. Uh, he needs. So, uh, yeah, uh, as you can see, I'm still in my work uniform. It's Friday after work. So, uh, yeah, we're about to go pick this thing up and, yeah, check it out. All right, so just walking up the driveway now. I uh, don't know how I'm going to do with filming this whole process. I'm still very shy with filming in front of random people, but yeah, try and document this as best as I can. I'm just going to put the TV on the way. Wind away. Turn the wheels so we pull it over to that side. You good luck. I guess. <laughs> we'll find out. One, one, two, one. Right, now we need someone to put it up the other. Yeah, you're pretty much good now. That's why it's so easy. Sorted. We'll leave the winch hooked to it and then strap it down. Alright, you can be good to go. I've only got my shitty straws. And this is probably going to most, be the most entertaining part of the video is watching Carl trying to figure out how a ratchet works. How to get my ratchet working there. And then you watch me fuck it up, eh? <laughs> Shut up. I'll fight all of you. I'm well aware I will lose, but... It's, well, at least you're it's well aware the of it. It's the principle. Now, any of the fights on that YouTube video? No. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot to send you through them. Oh well. That was like the most fun part. I mean, I fucked all of these up, so it'd be kind of weird to put that up. This guy almost like here. boasting about it. <laughs> oh yeah, just be an ego boost for you, eh? Oh, <laughs> this isn't working the way I wanted to, but it'll, it'll work. What are you doing? I don't it's know. Really I'm, I'm like, right, give it, it. Give it it. All right, what's going on guys? Uh, so what you guys just saw was like, fuck, almost two weeks ago now. We've been pretty lazy with filming the rest of this video. Uh, the reason we didn't do it that night is because it was dark, it was raining, and I mean, it's starting to get dark now, but yeah, we'll, uh, I don't know, give you a little walk around of this BMW and sort of tell you the plans of it. So it should be pretty cool. Quick little update on Kaoru's Miata. The motherfucker got out a warrant. Gotta be happy about that. So he's legal again, out yeah. to cause some ruckus. All right, so. BMW, this thing is absolutely fucking sacked on its ass, and that's how we're gonna keep it, aren't we? Well, yes, <laughs> of course. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so give them a rundown, quick rundown. You got this thing for free. It was free. Probably everybody saw it on Facebook Marketplace. We snatched it. Um, I paid the guy an extra whole $20 so that we'd have a front bar, the front bumper, and tail lights. So that was a good deal there. We towed it back here, now it's chilling. Um, once I get annoyed with the Ceph, because the Ferros are ugly, I will tear it apart, put the 25 in here, because I already have the whole kit for all of that. Yeah. Um, also, yeah, so we're not abandoning doing the Ceph and starting on this. Getting finished off the Ceph, he's gonna use that for seat time. Basically what, the plan is to get this thing pretty much ready until it's at, until it just needs a motor yeah. box. Yeah, so it's obviously missing a bunch of parts, it has no wiring in it whatsoever. I mean, there's not even a steering wheel, there's no coal, there's no like anything in there. Yeah, this thing it's is truly pretty empty. empty. Which is a good space yeah. for a drift car. So I've already picked, I've picked up another one, sort of, that's kind of munted, but same colour, same everything. And I'll be yanking all the parts out of that because this one's chassis is nice. Uh, and yeah, so I probably won't even start working on this until next year. I don't yeah. think so. But yeah, I'll use the Sephiro till then. Sell off the shell. Anybody wants to buy it, let me know. Um, yeah, and then this will be the drift car because I love BMWs. They're just a superior chassis. Yeah, these these things definitely have a good reputation. Like, how pretty much how Sylvia's are in like NZ and Oz and the US and Japan. 
these things are the Sylvias in Europe because their steering setup are just oh, so fucking good for drifting. These things are like, even in America now, these things are like starting to ca like catch up to like 240 levels of like, holy shit, these are just cheap drift cars that are amazing. Yeah. Because their chassis is so nimble, so simple. They've got great suspension. You can get stupid amounts of lock out of them, like SLR kits and... Yeah. Oh. And the amount of mechanical grip, like both forward and side bite that you can get out of these is just really good. As long as I'm not a TI. Yeah. Because their rear suspension setup is just retarded. You don't feel side bite in those at all. So the only thing that is like the downside with BMW is they have a habit of ripping the subframes out, but what we're gonna you're gonna go through and strengthen yep, them. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna weld plates in before anything is done. Yeah. So yeah, this will be stripped further than it is now. Well, I mean, I'll, probably, I'll leave all the panels and stuff on there. It'll be stripped further, like subframes are coming out to make sure everything's good. I'll weld up the supports on the rear. You can buy a kit that has some plates that will be exactly for it. Weld those in, slap it together, chuck my RB and stuff in. It's, ooh, I've already got all the parts for all that again. Like, I've got everything. There's no problem. My drive shaft makes up to a 20 box and um, this rear end. So that's no problem there. It's going to be mint. Mm. So yeah, uh, you won't be seeing this for a, a while, like you know, like we said, until probably the beginning of next year. But when we do get cracked into this thing, this thing is going to be pretty sick. It's and be fun. Yeah, it's definitely going to be fun. Like I've I've never really worked on a BMW before, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Right. But till then, seat time. Old trusty. Yeah. All right, that'll be it for this one. Cheers for watching. Probably not the most exciting one, but yeah, little update on uh, another car to the fucking fleet of uh, RFB machines. And it's gonna be RB as well. Yeah, RBMW. It's coming. All right, catch you guys next time.